All right, I've got another app showcase to show you guys today. We've got a few interesting new apps out and I'm excited to show you. So let's start with Demio. This is a game that I've actually never played before. I know it's kind of popular on some other VR platforms, but let me show you what it looks like. First off, we can choose windowed or immersive. I think immersive is a little bit more fun here. You can also have gloves on for a little better effect for your hands. Let's try that out. We're in the immersive environment. You can see solid hand tracking. And here's our menu. You start with a game board right here. On your hand, you got different cards and menus. You can actually pick cards to play right from your hand. So it's a nice effect, it works pretty well. You can move the board by actually pinching your middle finger and thumb on both hands and kind of zoom in like that and rotate the board. And then you can select characters and move them around like this. But I want to get a little closer. So with one hand, I can move really close and get a nice view of the board. So it's this guy's turn right here. I'll put him up. And I don't really know how to play this game, but I'm just giving you an, a feel for what this looks like. And we can see I found myself in the middle of this big game board. I can bring it out and then get a better view and see where everybody is, move around. And then start working towards the objective. And let's see if we can get some action going. Now, when it's time for a battle, I can grab this. Oops, see, I've gotten a little close to my couch, but I can still grab this, toss it, and then attack. I do notice a few little frame rate drops here and there as I'm playing this, but overall, controls seem pretty good. Those who are Demio fans, probably nothing surprising here, uh, but this is what it looks like. And here we have a more typical mixed reality type of game. I'll show you what this looks like really quickly. So now I have kind of this screen in front of me and this is what it looks like. I can actually go like that, move around, but I think it's more fun in the immersive mode. Let's try the next game though. Next up we have Counter Punch. So this is kind of a boxing trainer game where you can train counter attacks to common boxing moves. You can change your opponent's height and then you can test against different types of uh, attacks. So let's try orthodox, right cross, enter. And here we go, this guy's gonna right cross on me. Let's try that one more time. I'm supposed to be able to punch him. This is kind of a weird one. I would love to see some more settings I could play around with, like how quickly it keeps resetting for the different attacks. Uh, but right now it just seems pretty basic. I think that's enough of that one. Next up, we've got Virtual Pool, which is still in beta, but it is coming out very soon. Table type, let's go to a regular bar table. Practice, nine ball, play. And we got a table right here. As I walk around, I can adjust the table and I can move it, rotate. So here, I wanna put it a little bit more this way, have some room to walk around the table. There we go, let's try this out. Turn off adjust table. And as I walk over here, I can aim, pinch, and shoot. The graphics on this, the physics, they all look really good. Uh, this has been a pretty fun one to play with. I, of course, can walk through the table to take my shots if I need to. In nine ball, I know I have to aim for the one. And also, if I do my thumb and ring finger, I can move where on the cue I'm aiming to add spin. So let's try that. All right. With ball in hand, I can go ahead and just pick it up and put it wherever I want. I'm actually gonna put it right over here. So this is a pretty cool game. Uh, I know multiplayer support is coming very soon as well. Would love to see how this one gets fleshed out, but this is a great use of Vision Pro mixed reality. Big fan. Moving on, we've got Titan's Clinic. This is another fully immersive game. And we've got two different things we can do here, dentist or nail salon. Let's try dentist first. Okay. This is a weird game, but I think it's actually kind of cool, kind of funny. 
you got this giant person, I have to fix their teeth. I can turn around here and see what the client wants. I got a couple things I gotta do, remove tartar, clean teeth. I've got all these tools. And again, the hand tracking is pretty good here. Let me just guess and see what this is. Ooh, all right, I'll get rid of these with the vacuum. I can grab this. Pretty cool. Let's brush these teeth. What do we think, drill? There we go. Now, if I drill, if I drill too far, yeah, it actually breaks the tooth, which is kind of funny. I can even grab a tooth and pull it out. Go into the nail salon. Let's aim for this, uh, this cat right here in the middle, middle finger. I can print out a cat stencil and put it right on. And then I want to match it with blue. Look at that, beautiful. Let's see what this is. There you go, perfect. I think that gives you enough of an idea of this game. Kind of interesting, a lot of fun things to play with. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Next up, we've got Runaways. This is one of those endless runner type games, but it gives you some hand controls. So let's see what it looks like. So we have two things we can do, disarm traps or jump gaps. And it's interesting, it actually shows there's a couple of different hand motions. So you can't go like that with the left hand, you have to go like this. So here you can see both hands at work. And we have to jump and kind of hold the jump and you can only jump so much until you get more gas. Mm-hmm. And then disarm traps like that. And that's pretty much the game. So obviously tons of levels, uh, it gets harder and harder as you go on, but I think that gives you a good enough feel for Runaways. Next up we have Spatial Airplane. I've never seen this one before, so let's see what it's all about. There we go. So once the airplane's in the air, we can kind of move it around it's almost like a 3D snake game. So this one seems pretty simple, but nice, easy graphics. I think you have enough of a feel for what this game offers. Next up, we have Combini Spatial Shopping. This one shows you what shopping might be like in the future for uh, these types of devices. So let's take a look. We can go in this Japanese convenience store. I think maybe this woman can help us. Okay, she might just, oh. Let's not worry about her for now. So as we go through the store, we can actually go ahead and order different items that we see on the shelves. So here we have some pizza, chips. Looks interesting, can add it to my cart. And then walk around and just look at all these items and then see more details and add to my cart. This is a pretty interesting way to shop in virtual reality. Would love to see kind of more shopping apps like this taking advantage of the platform. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one. I think you get the point, uh, but let's move on. Finally, we have Marvel's new app and it's called What If. This is a fully immersive story from Marvel. Let's just take a quick look. Now, I'm not getting any audio. That might just be an issue with me trying to record Yeah, I think I'll have to try this later, but this at least gives you a little bit of an idea of what Marvel is doing with Vision Pro. And it's for the best, maybe no spoilers. Uh, I might do a longer video on this one in the future. And with that, I think we'll call it a day. Thank you for watching as always, and let me know if you wanna see any other apps on the showcase.